Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about tryptophan attenuation. Now you probably heard this name, you probably learned that process in my YouTube because I have a video on tryptophan operon where, where I've discussed this process. But this is a completely short video on exactly on how tryptophan attenuation actually works. Not about the whole tryptophan operon. But obviously you need to have a basic understanding of tryptophan operon and what is tryptophan operon to understand tryptophan attenuation process in detail. Now tryptophan operon is a operon for producing an enzyme or pro not enzyme producing an amino acid and this is a biosynthesis process right so in any kind of biosynthesis it requires a lot of energy it requires a lot of resources inside the cell to produce so that reason cell all of all the time wants to produce such things only if uh, there is 100% requirement of those things so if inside the cell there is no requirement of tryptophan and if there is tryptophan present cell never use their resource to produce more tryptophan at those situations if and only if there is less tryptophan present for cell to sustain only in these conditions they produce tryptophan they synthesize tryptophan for its purpose right so if you understand this concept everything will be fine so if there is low tryptophan inside there is low tryptophan then only biosynthesis will work, tryptophan operon will be on, high tryptophan present, tryptophan operon will be off. So this is the take home. Low tryptophan operon on, high percentage of tryptophan operon will be off. So once you know this, now let's talk about the attenuation. Now attenuation is a process of terminating the synthesis of structural genes for tryptophan. So actually it's a process of tryptophan synthesis halting right now normally when once the tryptophan uh, concentration is low uh, is high in the system we need to halt the processing of the mrna of tryptophan we need to halt the development of tryptophan rna we need to halt the uh, synthesis of tryptophan amino acid so let's begin so for understanding that you need to know the gene sequence for tryptophan operon and if I draw the sequence here, let me draw with this blue. That's actually, here is the tryptophan promoter. Right? Then we are having the operator region. And after the operator region, after a few sequences later, we are having a leader sequence or leader peptide sequence. Then we are having the structural gene. Right? So this is the structure promoter, operator, leader sequence which is the most important sequence required for the tryptophan attenuation and then we are having uh, the structural genes E, D, C, B, A and rest of them. Now these are the structural genes that will produce the tryptophan, right? That will help in the production of tryptophan biosynthesis. And if we zoom into this ladder section, because that's actual goal of ours here. So if we zoom into this ladder region, we'll find region 1, region 2, 3, 4. And here we'll be having downstreaming, we'll be, we are having the structural genes, right? Now in this 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now in region 1, we are having sequence for tryptophan coding region or UGG, UGG like. Anyways, so this is the leader peptide sequence, right? Not leader peptide, actually leader gene sequence, which will tra will be transcribed into leader M uh, mRNA and then will be translated into leader peptide, right? Now, in this case, we are having four different regions and these four different regions are very, very important and they are made precisely. The genetic structure is precisely formed in such a way so that they can form dimers with itself. So they are having kind of palindromic sequences with, with each other so that once they fold it, they can form dimers, right? Now, not for the genes because DNA is double stranded, so they can't form dimer. Once they are transcribed into mRNAs, that thing can form dimer because mRNA is single stranded as we all know. So whatever we'll be seeing here is a, so it is the DNA, once it is transcribed, it will promptly make, it will promptly make the mRNA. And if you look at the mRNA, so let's write mRNA like this and in mRNA this section say 1 this say 2 
three, four like that. This is the mRNA once transcribed, right? So if this is the situation, now try to understand it. Now, this region one and two can form dimer with themselves. Region two, three can form dimer. Region three, four can form dimer. Now, if one and two forms dimer, remember, if one and two forms dimer, then that dimer kind of help this mRNA to pause during the transcription. mRNA to pause. They give us a pause signal, which is not really required for understanding attenuation, but it has a other role for catching the transcription and translation at the same time. It's a having different role. Now, if two and three forms a dimer, it gives the signal of anti-termination to the process and the process of translation will go on and synthesis of structural yields will be made. Now if 3 and 4 uh, forms the dimer, so, so let, let's say if this forms a dimer then what will happen then in this case uh, anti-termination will be there and if 3 and 4 forms dimer then it will provide the signal of termination termination of translation and termination of translation will result in no production of those structural proteins so no uh, tryptophan will be produced now remember this section 1 region there are two different sequences UGG UGG now this UGG UGG sequence are this UGG sequence is actually code for tryptophan right so whenever they find this UGG they will put a tryptophan during the translation process now ribosome and and one thing you understand that during this this bacterial system once we're talking about bacterial operons all the time transcription and translation occurs kind of simultaneously with each other so mRNA is, pro is being produced using the RNA polymerase, so RNA polymerase is moving along with the ribosome is sitting onto the mRNA and it, it is also moving. So mRNA is being made along with that proteins are being made. So once they are being produced here in that case, so UGG codes for tryptophan amino acid. Now here uh, they put it and once it is produced during this way. Now let's say it starts, so here we say transcription is going on along with that let's say here the ribosome sits and ribosomes start to migrate in this direction because that's the orientation now during this movement once they reach this first region of leader section first region of leader they encounter UGG sequence right? when ribosome encounters UGG it needs to put tryptophan from the cell now remember if there is very very low tryptophan concentration inside the cell in that case it requires more time for the ribosome to bring the tryptophan in right so ribosome kinds of halts in this region number one the kinds of halt in this region number one so once it is halting to the region number one there is no way that one and two can pair because one is filled with ribosome right and in that case two and three is free and in that time four is being not transcribed yet because Polymerase is moving in this direction. Ribosome is moving from the backward. Polymerase and ribosome movement is that polymerase movement is not that fast that it will move through four at that particular region. So there are only one, two, and three. These three regions are transcribed, and translation begins from there. Ribosome halts at one. So there is no way that one can pair with two. No pausing will be there. So two and three are free to make a dimer. Now in that case, two and three will dimerize with itself. Now once 2 and 3 dimerize in that case, it will give us a anti-termination signal that means yes, go on for the synthesis because remember low, wh wh what we are looking at, we are looking at low tryptophan there and anti-termination is, uh, is established and as a result translation of this later peptide will be there, translation of structural genes will be there and finally once the tr translation of structural genes occur, it will produce tryptophan. So low tryptophan inside the cell, it will produce tryptophan, tryptophan operon will be on. So according to our knowledge, everything is satisfied in this case.
Now what happens when there is excess amount of tryptophan inside the cell? And not excess but actually there is adequate amount of tryptophan inside the cell. Now if there is adequate amount of tryptophan inside the cell, same thing start to occur. Ribosome sits on it, it start to move and once it is moving in this direction, once it is at the region 1 of the mRNA, there is plenty of tryptophan there. So tryptophan will come and bind and there will be no halting of ribosome there. So ribosomes start to migrate and ribosome sooner will be at the region number 2. So once ribosome occupies the region number 2 kind of here and 1 and 2 pairing is not possible, 2 and 3 pairing is not possible because the region 2 is almost uh, ribosome is sitting on the region 2 and trans translating. So the free regions will be 3 and 4. So as the region 3 and 4 will be free there, 3 and 4 will start to dimerize. Now if 3 and 4 dimerizes with itself, that dimerization, remember, gives the termination signal to the operon and the operon will terminate. That means the synthesis process will be terminated. So as it is terminated here, there will be no longer synthesis of genes by the ribosome, no longer synthesis of downstream genes which are structural. So no structural genes, no tryptophan will be produced and the cell lives as it is. Remember, high tryptophan is there, that's why there will be no tryptophan will be produced further so the operon is off. So this in a sense is the attenuation guys. The major thing is low tryptophan operon on, high tryptophan operon off. That's it and that's the attenuation process and the most important part for the attenuation remember the leader peptide and precisely uh, having this particular sequence like UGG, UGG in the one section because in this whole stretch of leader peptide region, in this whole stretch of leader mRNA, there is only two, there are only two amino acid uh, coding region for tryptophan that is UGG, UGG, okay, in the region one. So that's it is, thank you.